I'm Joe Fox from E-Yachts here in Sydney. It's really important for our owners that manoeuvring their boat is as simple and as easy as possible. And it really doesn't get much more simple than the Pardo 43. So today I'm going to show you some docking and manoeuvring strategies with the systems on board. We'll also look at uh, anchoring the boat and the anchor systems that are involved with that. So on this Pardo 43 we have twin IPS drive and that gives us around 600 horsepower per engine uh, in the water. As for leaving the berth, I'm going to use a couple of instruments here on the, uh, on the dash. So here we have the joystick which is connected to the IPS drives. Now this gives us full maneuverability in any direction um, with any rotation required on the boat. So the IPS drives move independently giving us very easy and simple sideways movement, forward, back or rotation through the water. As I leave the dock, I'll demonstrate this and you'll see the boat re reacting to the way I move this joystick. So the wind is blowing me very slightly off the dock now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna let the wind take me sideways a little bit. And then to give me a bit of forward motion, just push the joystick forward a little bit. Bit of sideways to pull me away from the dock, and then forwards. Now you'll see from the drone above, the boat is moving just forwards. I did pull it away from the dock slightly by pushing the joystick sideways. Once I'm clear of this boat down my port side, I'll then rotate the boat by turning the joystick to the port, and then that will give us plenty of room into the clear water. So turn the joystick to port, and you'll see the boat starts to turn as well. So I'm using the joystick rather than the wheel because for that close quarter of manoeuvring in a marina when you want every little bit of control, the joystick with the twin IPS is much more efficient, it gives you much greater accuracy. So I'll just demonstrate the control that we have here with this joystick. I can turn the boat on the spot by just twisting the joystick and you'll see from above that we're not going forwards or backwards. The boat's just turning on the spot. We can do a full 360 like that. So the boat's turning in its own length now. I'm not having to play with the throttles or the wheel, just concentrating on the joystick. Now when I've left the marina and I've got clear water ahead of me, I can then engage the throttles. In more of a conventional drive, this disables the joystick and then I can steer normally using the wheel. So the negative bow that we have on this boat not only looks good, but it is very functional as well. So we've had this boat offshore in maybe two or three meter swell, and about 20 knots of wind, and it was a very dry boat. It rode very well. So what really helps with the handling offshore is the addition of the Volvo interceptors with the auto trim, which we have here. So it's an automatic system that will trim the boat, but we do have manual control. Should we need to roll the boat slightly, depending on the, the sea state or the swell, or lift or raise the bow, depending on which direction we are we're going into the sea. So you'll notice looking at the bow of the Pardo that there is no anchor. The anchor is actually concealed inside a cowling which mounts off the front. So when you come to drop the anchor, it's just a case of pressing the down button and holding it down. That does a number of things. That deploys the cowling and lifts it up out of the way. And then when the cowling is fully deployed, the anchor will drop out very easily, clear of the bow. So coming into the anchorage, it really is standard procedure. I'm going to face the boat into the wind, bring the boat to a stop. I've got my speed on here. So I'll bring the boat to a stop. When I know that I'm not moving forwards anymore, all I'll do is I'll press this down, and the anchor will deploy and drop over the bow. I've got a chain counter on here. So once I think the anchor's touched the bottom, I will then back the boat up, reverse the boat to lay out the chain nicely in a straight line. We're coming back into the marina at the end of the day. Uh, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to park this boat with the joystick only. So we've got about a 12-15 knot wind blowing us off the dock. 
On the other side is uh, quite a shallow beach, so it's quite a good example of how we can control the boat using the joystick only um, to successfully berth. So I'm leaving it in normal control mode, so with the wheel and the two engines, all the way until I need to start maneuvering. So I'm in docking mode now. I'm just turning the boat. Now I'm gonna go in backwards into the berth. This is by far the easiest. We're very low at the back on the freeboard, so it's very easy, you've got a very good view going backwards. It also means that the wind will have less effect on the bow of the boat, because it's downwind. If we tried pointing the bow into the wind, it would uh, catch a lot more of the wind, making it a bit more hard to control. Just lining up with the dock now. If you look down the back of the boat, you'll see the fender there. The wind is blowing me off, so I'm just letting it blow me down for now. And then as I'm in line with the dock, I'll start moving it backwards. So all I'm doing as I move backwards is just gently in and out of gear, pushing the boat sideways, pushing the joystick sideways, just to pull me closer to the dock, stop the wind blowing me off, and then just keeping the speed backwards by tapping it in bursts of reverse just to pull me back. So when I'm in the position I want to be, I just give it a touch of forwards and that stops the boat in position. Get the line on there at the back. And as soon as I got one line on, the boat is safe. Okay, so really easy. I had the wind blowing me off the dock. I used the joystick just to keep the boat nice and, nice and close to the dock as I came in no loss of control at all and then there we go lines are on it's the end of a great day thanks for coming with us it was great to have you on board if you did like this video please do subscribe give us a like give us a follow it's great to have your feedback and uh, yeah we hope you come along for the next adventure